Oh, I can't make it work. I can't oh, make it man. work. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Talking about good old-fashioned books. Uh, Evangeline Lilly is with us from Lost and The Hobbit and a lot of movies, et cetera, et cetera. But that is not why you are here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, please, you have a book. Your life, really, you're still you're still an actor. That's your day job. That's my day job. But your passion, your life Full is about... Full-time squicker wonker. That's right. What, <laughs> yeah. does that mean, what does that mean when we say that? Um, well, the squicker wonkers is the title of my first children's storybook series, which um, is being introduced into bookstores this week. It went on sale November 18th in all good bookstores, none of the bad ones. Okay. <laughs> and... Um, it's also available exclusively on iTunes if little kids want to interact with it. You know, I, nowadays kids like to read books a lot of times on their iPad. They want music, they want interaction, they want animation, they want videos and pop-ups, and so there's, we've they got that on iTunes. Now here, yeah. tell us the story you just told us. Uh, well, I was just telling these guys that I, I once saw a YouTube video of a little kid who was handed a paper book, the way we all grew up with these paper books, and they took the book in their hand, and they started doing this. Aww. They started swiping the cover, and they looked up at their parents, and they said, it's broken, it's it doesn't broken. work. It's broken, it doesn't work. They That's didn't know what so to do with sad. a paper book. But I had to print mine in paper. It's, it's a great book, and the Squicker Wonker concept is not something you came up with a couple years ago. This is something no. you've been working on since you were a kid. Yeah, I, I actually originally came up with the title and the original poem when I was 14 years old. That's why it's so good. Thank you. Know, you know, because it's from the mind of a little yes. kid. But why, why are you so slow? <laughs> you know what? When I was a little kid, I actually didn't even like reading books because uh -huh. I read so slowly. Yes. Everything I do is very slowly. Mm -hmm. But I guess every, all good things are worth waiting for. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's gestated and it's grown. It's it has. Well, when I first wrote it, it was only it? one poem. And over the 20 years that has been, you know, brewing and steeping in my mind. And who are the Squicker Wonkers? The Squicker Wonkers are a group of misfit, outcast marionette puppets. Mm -hmm. And this adorable little girl named Selma mm -hmm. stumbles into their wagon one day and um, she gets more than she bargained for. What's and the cautionary age, tale? What's the age for this? Because there's some scary parts and, like, the people are a little different looking yeah, and yeah. things. The, you know, the publishers are saying it's five to eight year, years old. So that's the age demographic. Mm -hmm. But my son's three and a half and he loves, he loves it. it. And I'm 35 and I love it. Yeah. So, you know, it's for everybody. Uh, and each, uh, I understand in the future, there will be sequels and each squicker wonker will have its moment. Hey, you know your stuff. Lots I'm of squicker I'm, I'm, so I'm up right. on squicker wonkers. You are up on your squicker right, wonkers. My daughter is almost one, and she enjoyed the taste of the book. She tried to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. We tried yeah. to well, read. Good. We, we printed it on <laughs> ancient forest friendly paper with soy based ink, so she's Yay. not going to be toxic. You know, Organic. Be okay. <laughs> Perfect. And look at this. This piece of art. This is um, an original watercolor illustration from Johnny Fraser Allen, the illustrator of the book. That's so cool. And we're we're putting this a uh, prints of this watercolor as well as prints of the illustrations from the book up for sale at the National Museum of American Illustration, ah. who were so excited by the book that they are awarding me with the American Civilization Award for contribution That's to amazing. pop culture. That's amazing. Congratulations. Uh, you said civilization like a true Canadian. Civilization. <laughs> Tell me if this is true about you. I read this and I thought it was so interesting that you have quite an imagination and you would travel around to different cities and when you would land there, mm. you would take on a different persona, a completely different person. Is that a true story? Yeah, it is a true story. I mean, it's impossible to be entirely different from who you are, but I would try on different personality types. I would, in one place, I would decide I would be the quiet wallflower, and the next place I might be the sort of arrogant tomboy, and another place I might be the ice queen, and I would, I would try on all these different what versions are you doing of this myself. Morning? This morning, I'm <laughs> trying to be as authentic as possible. I'm not sure if it's working. And you uh, would carry this on for weeks and months, or yeah, just at yeah. one party, or well, no, for I mean, because like, I moved around kind there. of every six months, so it was. They were long stints. Listen, listen. Wow. You are you are a reluctant star. I mean, I. You, you, it's not that you fought against it. Your dream wasn't to be a superstar, celebrity, etc. You give you gave in to acting after a while. I mean, you had to give into it. <laughs> yeah. You've had a nice career, and you step away from it a little bit, and you do it when you can. But we live in a world where where people react to things, and I'm being told by my producers there's a tremendous reaction to the way you look right now. <laughs> Oh, how you dressed. I, I read this too at the uh, at the book signing. I was well, a big deal. I it's so funny. I'm like completely oblivious of that, by the way, of that buzz. But that's I mean, I I am excited about being an author right now because I feel like the shackles are off. I mean, as an actress, there are certain expectations. You have to wear certain clothes, you have to wear a different thing every day. You cannot even wear the same pair of shoes twice. You have to wear your hair a certain way and right. do all these. There's rules. And you were playing those rules for a while. I had to. Yeah. I felt like I had to anyway. And now I feel like when I'm out on my book tour, 
All bets are off. Forget about Good it. For it's, forget about yeah. it. It's my it's my it's turn now to have fun and to play and put on costumes well, and be with little what kids. What is this bat? You've always had a battle though, about uh, being in front of the camera and being beautiful. Mm. And being beautiful to you was, uh, I don't want to embarrass you with this, but being beautiful to you was somewhat of a curse. Mm. Can you talk about that? Um, I just think I've always had a lot of confidence in my mind. I've had a lot of confidence in my intelligence and beauty wasn't so much of a focus for me, nor was talent really. I, I just always, I was that kid who got good grades and, and I was confident about that. And to have people identify me based what felt like entirely or solely on one aspect of me, which was the way I looked, was a really tough pill for me to swallow. I wanted people to know me as a dynamic individual, an intelligent woman, a strong person, not just a pretty girl. You are becoming Steve's favorite actress of all time <laughs> as you sit there right now. I just want you to know that, right? Thank you. Thank you. You, know, you know, what do guys know? They like uh, women who are attractive but who are kind of tomboys underneath, mm. uh -huh. right? And go in your own direction yeah. and don't go too crazy over how I look but look good, all of that. In other words, nobody I work with on television. Uh, all right. I don't know. Now, Evang <laughs> Evangeline will be uh, signing copies of her book tomorrow. From what will she wear? <laughs> 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. at Barnes & Noble at The Grove. Uh, come Thank back and see so us. Thank you so much. Thank you. I will. You're in Hawaii it's now, right? Nice to be here. Yes. I'm all over the place. That whole six month of gig hasn't stopped. Okay. Nomad. Right. Yeah. When you're in we'll town, yeah. when the next you're in town, squicker wonker adventure. We can squicker yes. wonker all you want. Let's yeah. do it. Let's okay. get squickery. Let's yeah. get our squicker on. Okay. <laughs>